Welcome back down to Las Vegas. Day two of the Mountain West Media Days began early this morning. We're going to take you on a journey because it was a busy one inside the Green Valley Ranch Resort. Today was our chance to finally catch up with the Broncos. We heard from Coach Harson as well as two players who said they're excited to be down here. I think I've said this like a hundred times about Boise State, but it's a dream come true for me and to, to be here where I'm at to represent the team, the community and everything is... Uh, Pretty amazing. It's, it's definitely a privilege, you know, for uh, them to choose us to represent the team, and uh, we're not taking that lightly. Our guys back in Boise are just a great group of guys, and uh, being here, seeing family, is definitely a treat. Sports director Jay Dust, Will Hall, coming to you live from Las Vegas, day two of Mountain <laughs> West Media Days. Just about wrapping up, and today our chance to catch up with the Broncos. I love what John Molchan was saying. His mom actually stopped by the resort to drop <laughs> off a nice little care package. The only thing, she brought so many goodies, including some Gatorade, that John couldn't finish it all before he left. <laughs> we'll take some, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but seriously, we'll take some, John. <laughs> <laughs> we really will. On a more important note today, our chance to catch up with Coach Harson and get a chance to ask him about Bronco Nation's million dollar question, the open quarterback battle at Boise State as life without Brett Ribbon begins. Our chance to catch up with him, ask him about Boise State quarterback Chase Cord, who of course continues to rehab from an October torn ACL. Cord, one of five Bronco QBs battling to merge as the starting quarterback. Still not fully clear just yet, and the Broncos hope to ease him into practice once fall camp begins next week. He's still not there yet, and he'll get there, and, and we'll progress him when we get into fall camp and all that, but he's doing really well. He's been doing everything he's asked to do. He's, in my opinion, had a great summer. I'm excited to see him because we didn't get a chance to do anything with him in spring. So now he's out there throwing. He's in the PRP practices. We'll get him out there. We'll get a chance to work with him, and then you know, we'll have that competition. You know, we got everybody now that can compete, and he'll be a part of that, and then we'll see what happens. Speaking of quarterbacks, preseason Mountain West Offensive Player of the Year, Utah State QB Jordan Love, and a uh, former Bronco quarterback and now offensive coordinator have started to pair together, if you will. Mike Sanford, Boise State's former offensive coordinator and quarterback, is now running the show down at Utah State on offense. Under first-year head coach Gary Anderson, Anderson thrilled to have a coach with the experience and success like Sanford running his, his offense in Logan. He has great respect because of where he's been, but also because of the kind of person that he is. Uh, and the biggest thing for me is, you know, he cares more about kids than he does about being some great coach. And to me, that's, that's what I want. That's the guys I want around our players, and that's the way I want our staff to, to be, and, and he's like that. So he's a huge part of us. I just hope I can keep him for a while. Plenty more coverage from Mountain Moist Media Day is coming up tonight on the News at 10, including an update on how Keikoa Nawahini's wedding went this offseason. A lot of fun. You won't want to miss it. That's at 10. In the meantime, the News at 6 continues.